Welcome back guys. It's so lovely to have you with us today on this Sunday. It's our second week back and we got, excuse me, where's yeah. your stuff? It, it's here. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. You're preaching to us today. Yeah. James chapter 1. Go get your Bible. <laughs> okay. We'll continue this now. Hey guys, so today we're doing James chapter 1. So we're going to look at verse 19 to 20 where we see the right way to listen. So the reason that it's the right way to listen is because it says you must be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Have you ever thought why God has given us two ears and one mouth? It says here, Proverbs 10 verse 19 says, In the magnitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. God's word is telling us to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to get to anger. Which one of these do you think you're not slow at all at? I know that I'm very quick to speak. I, when, when something I believe is wrong, or I know that I'm correct on, I'm the first one to say it. However, over the past couple of years, I've had to slow that down, hear what the other person has to say first, and then say my word. Also, the longer you wait and the longer you think about it, the easier it is to say your words and the less hurtful or sinful words you speak. So, um, anger and speaking words of anger usually happen quite quickly, but God is telling us in his word here to slow down, to take time before you react. Isn't that beautiful? He's telling us to slow down. In his word, he is telling us, slow down. Then in verse 20, it says, um, The wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Wrath means anger, and righteousness is the right way of living. Our anger does not produce God's way of living in our lives. When we are angry, we're not usually listening. Now, James 1 verse 21, the right way to live. Get rid of the filth. Get rid of the bad stuff. Stop thinking bad things. Watch your words because they become your actions. And your actions are actually brought on from your thoughts. So if you have bad thoughts, if you have negative thoughts, those negative thoughts turn into your words, which then turn into your actions, which then become your character. And God wants us to be righteous. He wants us to be good. Wow, Gail, that was really inspiring and I think that's a lot we can take away from what you preached to us today. I think the year 2021 is going to be an absolute loss. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that you're with us. Thank you that you get to listen to us and we get to speak to you on a daily basis, knowing that you're there to help us and guide us and listen to us and give us guidance and where we should go, what we should do, what we should complete, is enough. Knowing that your love is within us is enough. Knowing that, we are, that you are a part of our lives is enough. Lord, I just pray that as we go into our next week, into our online schools, back at school, wherever we are, that you are with us. Amen. Wow, guys, just before we head out, just want to say, I would like to hear your, see your dance moves. I wear my dancing cap on and my speaker. And we want you to send a video of you dancing, or we can do a dance challenge upstairs. Cheers for now.